Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to um, Love Stage Episode 2 Review. Um, just to say now, um, if um, for the people who came from the Episode 1 Review and come into here expecting a live reaction, uh, there'll be no live reactions at all, period. None. In the near future for any anime, it'll just be reviews, reviews, reviews. <sighs> Bastards. <sighs> anyway, um... <sighs> This episode was interesting to be sure. Um, funny in all the right places. Um, for the most part, it focused around um, I suppose uh, Izume's anxieties when it c comes down to um, the peop the people around him when he's when he's the centre of attention, and. Um, um, yeah, and the kiss scene, it was, um, very, very problematic, um, it d didn't really help him, um, and it caused an awkward scene, well, a small awkward scene for me that I, oh, I hate them, I really do, I don't know why I just cringe at them, where he pushed, um, um, what was his name, Ryojo? I don't know, but I'm just gonna call him R, that, his name starts, his first name starts with R, way, and then he's just like, petrified. And that was his first kiss. To be perfectly honest, I was really surprised. And the way this episode went, it didn't seem like a yayo for the genre it is, but it's only episode two. Um, uh, we got hinting, well not really hinting, but I suppose if it's like anything like Jun... Oh, how is it? Junjo Romantica? And the other series where it... Um, focuses on a variety of couples like say the first two episodes is um this couple and then the other and then three episodes is this couple and then the other three is that couple and then it reverts back etc etc because um maybe it's because i'm thinking it because of the, what the genre it is itself or maybe it was just embarrassed but um um when um rai called him shogun to um help um get him izumi out um he didn't expect him to come to Tokyo, though he was supposed to be in London. Um, oh, what did he say? I forgot. But it was something that made um, uh, Rai blush. So yeah, I have a funny feeling that he, he is um, gay, but um, I might be wrong. They just see how. Let's just see how the series pro series progresses. But um, Shoga, <laughs> he is. He is. He is gay. Yeah. Um, Oh, the temptation to get um, Izumi out was perfection. Comedy gold. Um, Lala Lu, the um, character from the anime they like, or manga, whichever. Um, he used a life-size pillow of um, Lala Lu to get um, Izumi out. Um, blackmailing, basically. And Yeah, I, I, I like that. That, that. I had a funny feeling that as soon as he was holding the bag and carrying it down the hallway, I was like, hmm... Izumi's in his, in his um, dressing room, petrified. How did he... What did he do to get him to go to the... Um, shoot, in the first place? Oh yeah, Lalalu clock, so... Hmm. That's not a carpet, and he's not holding the dead body. It can't be one of those. And it was. Um, a rear pillow, and it made... Um, Izumi go all... Crazy, gobbledygook, fan crazy for the pillow. Um, got the pillow, success, succeeded, yay, fabulous. Um, but this is interesting, and I, I just want to point, uh, say this. Um, I thought that, um, Izumi, Izumi um, was gay, but, um, the way this episode went, I mean, I knew there was manipulation for, um, on R, R's part, but, um, him not knowing Izumi was a boy. Um, but yeah, um, I think something is going to happen to um, get those two together. And I have a funny feeling that Shogo is going to be involved. But yeah, I think this is the type of um, yeah what I have been looking for. Well, actually, I've only ever seen two and it, they've both been done by the same person. In, an A and B can be deceiving of what you think it, the type is. But yeah. Um, yeah, um, the shoot was a success, blah, 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 all that. And then... Going back to um, um, Izumi's dressing room, um, R comes in, uh, well, comes back, and um, 
procre- proclaims his love to him. And, um, yeah, um, Izumi was, like, just starstruck, like, the Watts did. Yeah, just didn't know how to reply. And Shogo, he was just listening behind the door and opened it. And I was just like, oh, God, shit's about to hit the fan. And then he mentioned um, Izumi being a boy, which um, shocked him greatly. And, um, yeah, I thought, I I was hoping that, hold on, hold on. How should I word that? Yeah. I was hoping that he would care about finding out, you know, like, the shocked part with the boy. Uh, it is only being a boy. And I'm glad it, it was. I, I I would have been a bit iffy on it, like, find out it was a girl. And it's just like, oh, but my heart is, like, going all blah, blah, blah. It's not... He didn't... It wasn't mushy. It wasn't mushy. It wasn't mushy crap. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Ah. Very deceptive. Um, yeah, when he thought he was a girl... Uh, Izumi was a girl... Um, yeah, split personality. Um, he was only nice through the shooting and uh, putting up with all the um, problems Zumi was calling because he fancied him, but thinking it was a her. And then find out it was a him. Yeah, he went crazy. And um, Izumi just goes, Shugo? And he's like, yeah. Is that how he really acts? And he's just like, yep. And I just laughed. Lolled so hard. Oh. <sighs> yeah. This episode was funny in all right places. Um, I s- foreshadowing, if it if it's going along the lines that I think, like going between couples, and I suppose unless they'll just focus, unless they'll just be, I don't know. Um, yeah, nothing was really set up, but this but this isn't well set up for the romance or whatever is going to happen, because. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of work to be done to get those two together, and I like that. I like that, and for that very reason, it wasn't mushy. It wasn't it wasn't predictable? Well, it was predictable, but it was predictable in the um, non-cliched way. And for that, I'm going to give this episode a nine out of ten. Good watch, good laugh, everything. Oh yeah, and the, and uh, Mizumi's dad is a bloody troll. Yeah. So yeah, um, that was um, episode two. Um, I'll be seeing you next week for um, episode three. Uh, yeah, let's just hope um, uh, the series continues with this nice pace and comedic stuff. So yeah, good day.